Hey, I'm David Lemon, and welcome to another Pop Goes the Culture, the untold, behind-the-scenes stories of your favorite TV shows from the people who were there. In part two of our conversation, Rue McClanahan reminisces about some of the great episodes of Maud, the controversies, dealing with kinky sex in 1970s primetime TV, the famous facelift scene, Walter's alcoholism, and of course, the infamous abortion episode of Maud. Here's the late Rue McClanahan. So many shows, especially what, what Norman Lear brought to the, to the uh, art of the sitcom, was allowing tragedy to enter into comedy. He was the first one who could make you laugh and cry in the same, within two lines of each other, you know, in, in certain scenes. One of the funniest things I ever saw on his show was before I went on it, I was watching it in my house in Closter. And it was Bill Macy's, Walter's, reunion with an old school pal. And they hadn't seen each other in years and years and years. And the old school pal comes in and they start to sing the song they always sang with motions. Something like, there's an old spinning wheel in the corner. Ba 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 ba. And as they're singing it, the guy drops dead of a heart attack right behind the sofa. <laughs> I said, I've got to be on this show. Oh. That's really good. I interviewed um, um, Bob Weisskopf. Oh, you uh, did? Not Bob Weisskopf, he passed away. Uh, Bob Schiller. Bob Schiller. About a week or so ago. You did. And he was telling me about some of the great episodes of Maud. Oh, Schiller. Schiller and Weisskopf. Man alive, what a team. And Bob Schiller is a funny guy on his own, you know, I mean, without being, I mean, not to do with writing. He sends me every Christmas a Christmas picture of the family. The family, his family is an extended family of all colors and sizes and <laughs> sexes. And they always do themselves up in a silly, silly, but funny uh, situation. Like they're all flying on trapezes or, you know, whatever. They're all drowning or, you know, something. <laughs> and I, I, every time I'm out there, I try to see him. The stuff, that, the stuff that, that you guys were doing was groundbreaking, wasn't it? I mean, it wasn't just... Absolutely. Tell me some... What, is, is, is there an example that you can think of? I mean, I have... I have well, the abortion show. The abortion show. Cleveland still didn't play it. Cleveland didn't play the abortion show that night. Um, and the fact that they've been so slow to pick, to pick it up and show it uh, in what you might call syndication. Uh, you know, it was 17 years before they started showing it. Usually shows go right into, if a hit show, they, if it's a hit show, it goes right into syndication. Right. Not Maud. People remained scared of Maud for all those years. Um, I don't think there was that much controversy. I mean, to my way of thinking. The abortion show, which was the first one I did, and the facelift show was considered controversial at the time. And, of course, Vivian and, and uh, her husband were having kinky sex. That was a funny episode, where uh, the doorbell rings, I go to the door, you can't, I got on a robe, see my back, see the front door and my back, and I, drop the robe, but all you see is my head, and I say something like, Welcome home, honey! And then you see Walter and Maud's faces looking at me, because it's not Conrad. And then you go outside the door and shoot outside, and you just see their backs looking at Because I open my eyes and scream and slam the door and run to the basement. And then you see them looking at the closed door. Don't see their faces, just their backs. And the audience is roaring. And then B just shifts her weight, just 
slight shift of weight, and they roar some more. And then she runs down to the basement to see what's the matter with Vivian. Vivian is wrapped up in just saran wrap. And she's crying, and she's having a drink at the bar, and she's nervous, and she's just embarrassed to tears. And, 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 and she says, well, you know, sometimes, what was his name? Well, anyway, and I play little games, you know, like, like uh, the dare, the like the farmer and the milkmaid, or the you know the Indian and the cowgirl, and Maud says, "What's this saran wrap game?" And she says, "The man from Glad." So what? <laughs> What Conrad would do, you see, would, what the husband would do, he'd get, he, he'd get dressed up in a white suit and come home and knock on the door, and he'd be in a white suit, and she'd be in saran wrap. So uh, that could have been a little racy for the times. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to answer your question as to why it was controversial, Shoal. Um, oh, well, we did one about manic depression. Uh, it was a five-parter in which Maud had manic depression. And in her manic state, she decides to run Henry Fonda for president. And <laughs> Henry Fonda was on the show that week, of course. He comes to the house, got to work with him. And uh, when she's in her depressive state, she, she just drops the whole project, you see. So that was rather interesting. There was some something that some story we did about Walter, but I've forgotten just what it was. Where he, an alcoholic? I think that was it. He was an alcoholic. That was it. He, he started getting on the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the way Norman Lear approached everything was with great good humor and goodwill. Uh, the abortion show was not to say, this is the thing to do if you're 50 years old and you find you're pregnant. It was to say, this is a problem some women have, and we're examining what to do. Because she did, in fact, agonize over that decision. Right. And uh, it would be a hard decision for me to make. Um, it, could you do me a favor? Could you just very briefly just tell me, for, on behalf of the audience, the story of the abortion episode, not, not in great detail, but just the... Well, the abortion episode, as I said, was my first one to do. And I remember it only vaguely. I remember that during the show, I think, she'd found out she was pregnant. And I go over to see her. She asks me to come over, I guess. I don't remember. and. We're sitting on the sofa. My back's to her. She's just behind me, and she says, I have something to tell you. I'm pregnant. And of course, Vivian breaks up into laughter, and then she realizes she means it. And it's, it's taken very seriously by her, by Walter, by Vivian. Uh, I don't remember anything else about it, except she did decide to have an abortion. Do you remember the controversy? I mean, Cleveland didn't dare. Do you remember the response from the, from the rest of the country when that happened? Oh, no, I don't. In general, um, there was probably both outrage and, 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 and uh, ab admiration. I don't really remember that clearly. That's it for now. Next time, Rue tells us how CBS handled controversy and how Norman Lear dealt with CBS, how producers dealt with censors, both on Maud and Golden Girls, how Rue got involved with Golden Girls, what it was like playing Blanche, the auditions, the pilot, and how she talked B. Arthur into playing Dorothy. You won't want to miss it. Till then, what was your favorite Maud episode? Let us know in the comments. See you next time. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you're watching, please, why not become a patron on Patreon?